All right, boys, so there I was doing some theory crafting for Regulation E when I had the bright idea to talk about 10 combos I think will be really good in Regulation E. Now, when putting this list together, my goal was simple. Have at least one new returning Pokemon in each of the combos. And look, if you want to see what Pokemon are returning, you can go over to Pokios. They do have a list here of basically all the Pokemon returning in DLC 1. So if you want to check out, you know, ex like everything that's coming back, go check them out. I won't go too much further with that, though. But anyway, guys, let's get into the first combo. Now, the first combo I want to talk about here is my guy Roaring Moon paired up with Clefairy. Sorry, Clef yeah, Clefairy. So basically, I think this is going to be a really cool combo for a couple of reasons. So if I quickly just jump with the Maryland team builder here, we'll just chuck in Clef uh, and we'll chuck in Roaring Moon. So I do actually think that um, this combo like covers each other really well, right? So if we take a look at like Roaring Moon's like weaknesses, yeah? You know, it's weak to fighting, Clef resists it. It's weak to bug, Clef resists it. And it's um, also weak to dragon, which Clef is immune to. Um, not to mention, it's just a strong friend guard user, right? Uh, and then also to, you know, Moon is also weak to fairy types. Uh, you got Terra for that. Uh, and then again, Ice types as well, which Terra kind of helps with. Um, as long as you're not going Terra Ice, which I am kind of thinking, potentially Terra Fire might be good in the upcoming meta. Um, but again, we'll have to wait and see. I'm not going to touch too much on that until, you know, we see what mods are good. Uh, and also what, you know, moves people, like certain Pokemon get, I guess, coming up. But basically, the reason I think this combo is going to be so good is Friend Guard paired with a Violite makes this mod incredibly bulky, right? Like, if you have a look at Clef here, just drop its stats down, right? Um, it, it's its HP stat is pretty decent for a redirection mod. Um, a, a lot of them are, like, around that 70 mark anyway. Like, if we have a look at, like, Maus, for example, Maus at 74. Um, obviously, Amoongus is, like, the big outlier uh, with 114. But the defensive stats from Clef are going to be a lot higher because of our Violite. Um, but Clef's, you know, base per depth there is actually already pretty high. You know, with just one point in it, that a Violite boosts it up, you know, quite a lot. Uh, and then you can always look to just run like something like max bold um obviously again the spreads will really depend on the meta game but like max bold with that you know already like decently high speed depth stat uh well decently high with the violet i should say uh it can be pretty good right and then clef has a uh, you know a lot of good things going for it right so it has followed me which i do think will be really important in the upcoming format because of rillaboom um obviously you know uh a grass stuff like rillaboom who you know is getting grass to glide back is really really good against rage pattern ones right basically um you're not gonna be able to redirect the the grassy glides with rage powder um because obviously as a grass type it just it ignores the other rage powder effects so i do think you know follow me will be really really important coming up in the upcoming meta um and not to mention dude clef is just always good when this thing's in the game right like its attack is like not like great but like you could always like slap a moon blast on it and it's like you know, that's gonna do a good chunk to urshifu's um has things like icy wind i believe uh yeah it gets icy wind for speed control like it really just has like you know a lot of things going for it um obviously like protect something else you want on this as well but if we just have like a look at its status moves right uh status like it has a lot of good things right you could potentially calm my baton pass um actually that's not a thing <laughs> i don't even know why i suggested that i, I don't think you're ever going to want to do that uh it does get encore though which can be kind of cool um especially against like trick room teams as well um you know the yellow button's always nice um, ally switch is like pretty good as well. I would assume it's getting ally switch um, coming up, which is like, again, always really nice. Like, especially if you're going up against, you know, things that could potentially get around your redirection. Um, I really doubt like things like Farascuta are going to be that good. And I'm pretty sure Duraludon is DLC too, but stuff like that is obviously always an option. Uh, and then things like life blue as well, just to heal up your team. You know, Clef, Clef does a lot. It, it is a pretty good mod. It's very bulky. Um, and then the Roaring Moon in this combo as well, you're probably just going to like, uh, I'll just do like a standard step for now. Uh, but you're going to be looking at things like, let's just say, just Acrobatics, uh, Jaw Lock, Dragon Dance, and Protect, right? Um, something like that, I think, would be pretty standard. Um, obviously, like, you're just going to get 50. Um, I should have done it this well. Terra Flying is the uh, the one I want to look at here. And then, like, Roaring Moon next to Clef can get, like, insanely bulky really fast. Um, and you also, like, probably want to pair this as well with, like, an Intimidator. Um, Arcanine's, like, a pretty cool Intimidator with this core just because, like, the resistances. Um, the Rock Arcanine could even be better. Um, but obviously we'll have to wait and see but something like this where you have like intimidate plus friend guard makes like moon incredibly bulky um and then like in terms of speed this one doesn't even need that much like 156 like at speeds are like a lot of what you need you can run this to like a break point to like maybe like let's just say there go adamant and then basically from there like you don't need much in spadef just like that one extra point uh and then from there you really just start like you know spreading this out and see what you can get up to um go a i think we can go to 100 let's say 100 yeah i think that's fine right so you go something like this, you know, like relatively bulky, still hits really hard with Dragon Dance. Um, and then you pair it with like Friend Guard plus Intimidate. And I think it can really enable Roaring Moon. And like, I definitely think it'll make Roaring Moon one of the, at least a lot better in the upcoming format than it is right now. So the next combo I want to talk about here is another really, really interesting one. So it actually is involving two of the, you know, new returning mods. And that is a Lola Nine Tails plus Mamo Swine. Now, I do think there is a couple ways that you can run this um, Mamo Swine. There we go. So a lot of Nine Tails, like what it's basically going to be best for, I think, is just a fast, um, 
It's gonna be a fast screen setter, right? Basically, snowboarding light play with Aurora Veil, right? It, it's it's really quick. Like its it speed stat is really high, especially if you go like Tibid max speed. Um, we'll run that up here. I think it hits like 177. Is it? Yeah, 177. So it's pretty quick. It can fire off like stat blizzards. Um, its special bulk is like already really nice. And paired up with like you know, its its defensive stats pretty average. But with the snow, it can like you know start snowballing really quickly. Um, you honestly probably don't even have to invest much into that. Uh, again, you could probably just like run something as simple as this, right? And like, it's just really bulky. It gets up the Blizzard. It still does, sorry, it gets up the Aurora Veil. still does a lot of damage with Blizzard. Um, it also has, you know, stuff like Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam. You can run Icy Wind on it as well. Um, and then you pair it up with Mamoswine. Swine. Now, I think Mamoswine Swine is interesting for a couple of reasons, right? And I think there's like two main sets really you'd want to run on it. So the first one here is the, like, so the ability you probably always want to run here is Oblivious. Um, you could maybe run Snow Cloak if you really want it to be obnoxious. Um, but Oblivious just, you know, making you immune to um, uh, Intimidate is like always just really, really good. Um, and then in terms of items, I think there's like two main ones, right? So I think Focus Sash is obviously going to be really, really good, right? If you have a look at this one's stats, it hits really freaking hard. It has a really nice, you know, HP stat. Its defense isn't bad, especially when you pair it up with, you know, the the, uh, the buff from the ice, uh, sorry, from the snow. Uh, but then it's Spadef is kind of awful, right? Like, you just kind of kind of fall over to, like, any fire move, right? So, I do think, you know, just Focus Sash, Max Max, going something like Ice Shard. Uh, you go, like, Earthquake. Uh, maybe, like, if it gets it, like, Stomping Tantrum. Maybe High, high Horsepower or something if it returns. Uh, Protect is obviously, like, always really good. Um, and then you'd always, like, drop one of these two moves here for, like, Icicle Crash, right? So, like, that, that would basically be your set there, right? Two stabs, priority plus Protect, yeah? And then you just got, like, Max Max. Um, call it a day there. But what I actually think could also be really interesting, especially with the defense buff you're getting, is actually the Assault Vest set. Now, I do think you probably want to hold on to Oblivious, uh, but I could also see either one of these um, other two abilities being, like, pretty decent with this. Because, like, having Snow Cloak and then making yourself just incredibly bulky um, with, like, Snow Cloak plus Assault Vest plus the Snow Buff would be, like, really, really good. Um, and then having, you know, Thick Fat as well plus AV just means, like, you know, Flamethrowers, Heat Waves, and all that kind of stuff from mods like Chiyu are going to bounce off you a lot better than they normally would. Um, and on a set like that as well, I think you can actually afford to, like, run Adamant, right? Because, like, the cool thing with, like, AD base speed is, like, you only really have to run up to, like, 107, right? And the main reason for that as well is I actually, like, do think a call like this is going to be really good on, like, the Tornadus HO teams. Like, you pair this up with, like, Tornadus... Um, probably like an Urshifu and, and whatnot, right? Like you want you want to make this like kind of hyper offensive. You want to get these like, um, even like Chiyu could be like really good on this, like Chiyu plus Flutter. Um, basically like the way I think this cause, like you're going to want to run it, right? Is you're going to want to be like this very hyper offensive team, but with like the ability to tank hits, right? Because like you think about like a lot of Mon, like Mon's like say, for example, Flutter main or, you know, Chiyu, like perfect example of Flutter pitch combo, right? They're, they're Mon's that are like, they're not very bulky, but they're kind of just dying to things like, you know, heavy slam, drain punch from iron hands, you know, um, like a lot of people talking about, you know, grassy glide, getting your KOs on flutter main with like 252 adamant bandit into rain, stuff like that, right? So having the ability to like set up your veil, I think is going to be like really good on these like hyper offensive teams. And like a mom like Mamo Swine, it's already so bulky just because of its like high HP stat, plus the buff from snow that again, if you pair like an intimidate user on this team, like say, for example, like Landorus, um, you go to like 52, you, you know, you slap Adamant on that, you hit like an absolute truck. Like that's a really, really good HP stat. Those Ice Shards are going to be doing a lot of damage. And then it kind of puts you in a position where you just dump the rest in HP and like kind of call it a day, right? Like maybe you go like that, you split the defenses. But like I think this could be like a really cool combo where like either you're running this like super offensive with Sash or you're running it just like, you know, relatively slow. Like you're hitting that 107 so you can pair it with things like Tailwind. Um, you could even like run it up to, a, I think... I think 112, right, is what you want for base 100 with Icy Wind. Like, so for example, if you were running something like this set here, um, the Icy Wind would then allow you to outspeed like Max Speed Chiyu, for example, right? So stuff like that's really cool. Um, so yeah, I definitely think this is like a really like cool combo. Um, and I definitely think Ice, especially into the current metagame, is like really nice. Um, obviously, like we kind of touched on Moonblast here. Another cool move for this one as well, actually, is Freeze Dry. Uh, Freeze Dry is like really good for the, the Urshis that either want to go Grass or Water. Um, like a lot of, you know... Um, Water Urshis right now, they're either going Terra Water, like to, you know, basically hit really hard, or they're going Terra Grass to, you know, ignore Moonblast. So even like, you know, something like this, where you got like Blizzard Freeze Dry Moonblast, like, because Freeze Dry is like so free into Urshi. Um, and especially if you do pair this with like, you know, like a Flood of Fish combo, right? Something like this. Um, you don't need much attack with like Feeds of Ruin to just like one shot with Freeze Dry. So that's, yeah, that's really cool. Now, this next combo here is actually like relatively similar to a combo I personally tried back in um, Regula Regulation A or Series A, Series 1, whatever they called it. Um, and that is a slow king set, not slow king, sorry, um, slacking set. But rather than pairing it with Grafire like I did, it's wheezing. Now, 
I think both Weezings like have a place here. I do think probably Gala Weezing is just going to be a bit better because of like the dark types that are running around, like the Chi Yus, the uh, you know the Chien Pals and whatnot. But I definitely think uh, neutralizing Gas on this one paired up with you know Truant is like obviously Truant's bad, but like getting rid of it could be really really cool. Um, and I do think there's a lot of ways that you can play this one. So when we look at this, uh, the basically the stats right here on the slacking. Um, we'll quickly just drop this down to fifty. So at base 100, it's either faster or like on par with like a lot of the fast mons in the meta game, right? Or sorry, I shouldn't say a lot of the fast mons. Obviously, mods like Fluttermane, Chi Yu, and whatnot. Sorry, not Chi Yu, Chien Power a lot faster. Uh, but it's basically faster than the Urshis. It, it speed ties with you know Chien Power. Uh, sorry, Chi Yu. Um, yeah, it's just like it's really good. Um, it has like an absurd attack stat. Um, again, showdown putting me on there is triggering. It has an absurd attack stat, right? You could run this to like say for example like there and go Adamant. Um, I do think like Jolly is probably the best way to go. Um, like it, it all just comes down to I guess like what becomes popular right because you could go for things like say um, you know max speed if, if you're expecting Chi like so Chi Yu to be really good um, if Urshifu like just like remains like the top mod in the meta you could go like adamant get something like this and then like you know dump probably not dumping into HP let's be honest you just dumping into Spadef at that point um, but yeah and then like in terms of items I think orbs like really cool um, I also think like assault vest is like something you could look at as well because like the Spadef stat right like you could look at you know running something like this with yeah, just going um, Assault Vest, just making it really tanky. Although I don't necessarily think that's like going to be the best. But I do definitely think like uh, Life Orb plus like bulk up free attacks could be like really good, right? Because you think about it, I'm pretty sure it gets Drain Punch. Yeah, it gets like Drain Punch. Um, I think its best normal move is Body Slam, right? Yeah, it, do it doesn't get Double Edge, at least not right now. Um, and I don't think it'll get it for the rest of the formats. So, like, yeah, maybe Body Slam. Facade's interesting. Um, I don't think you want Facade though. But yeah, you could just go like body slam and then just go slack off, right? And then like you've got good recovery like between drain punch and uh, slack off. Uh, body slam is like a really good stab. And then like bulk up plus like just high speed F investment will just like make you really tanky. Uh, and of course, neutralizing gas would just mean that like, hey, you're never, um, you're never going to be like truanted. Um, and another like a really cool thing as well is because like truant, like it works different to how slow start works for Reggie Gigas, right? Which is what we saw a bit back in Sword and Shield. Um, like you don't have to have wheezing on the turn, like on the board every turn with slacking, right? Like so... Uh, obviously we'll have to wait and see how it works but i think like for example you could go like turn one lead slacking plus something else attack turn two attack swap in your wheezing and it will like stop the truant from activating um i think that's how it's gonna work um we'll obviously have to wait and see um because maybe it doesn't work like that but i'm pretty sure it would but there's still like cool things you can do with slacking that you couldn't really do with reggie gigas so definitely curious to see how that works um but this mod also has like pretty good coverage as well i think it gets heavy slam right yeah, so Heavy Slam's, like, really good for Flutter Main. Um, it does get the Elemental Punches as well. So, like, you could always go, like, Fire Punch plus, like, Terra Fire. Because, um, like, Terra Fire would allow you to, um, obviously, like, ignore Willow Wisps. And then at that point as well, you could run something like Clear Amulet. So, you could go, like, Clear Amulet plus, like, Bulk Up with, like, a set like this. And then just, like, invest up. Like, you probably wouldn't even need max speed at that point, right? Um, depending on your team, you could run up to, like, say, like, 130. Uh, and then, yeah, just, like, honestly, like, go max for death. And then just, like, split them, right? Oh, actually, I think, like, something like that's probably just fine, right? Yeah, like, something like that actually seems, like, okay. Um, but, yeah, just go, like, Clarem. Clo I mean, you get the other uh, bulk ups up, the, you know, Fire Punch, wh whatever. Yeah, like, this mod has, like, a lot of cool things it can do. Um, and I definitely think, like, with Weezing, it could be, like, crazy. Because these stats are, like, insane, right? 100 speed is, like, really good. 100 defense is, like, really good. 160 attack is, like, insane, right? I think that's, like, that's, like, the, the number one, yeah? Okay, actually, uh, Katana at 181 is the best. And then... Yeah, I mean, if you're not counting Megas, yeah, dude, like 160. Uh, isn't that on par with Hero Palafin? Hero Palafin's banned. That's why it's not showing up, of course. Uh, but yeah, 160 attacks, absurd. Like 150 and 100 is like really good. And like 65 Spadef sucks, like let's be real. Um, but it doesn't like suck that much. Also, where am I missing a point from here? I feel like I'm missing. Oh, no, it's because I, I took these out. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um... But yeah, now look, slacking, really cool. Uh, wheezing as well is, like, kind of interesting. Um, it's, like, base stat total is, like, nothing crazy, right? Uh, but, like, it's defense that's really good, and it's, like, Spadef's, like, average, right? It, offensively, it's, like, pretty bad. But you could always, like, run, like, max uh, max HP, uh, and then just, like, you know, like, I don't know, go to some bump in Spadef, whatever, it is, whatever, like, you need to tank, like, a hit from, like, Fluttermane or something. Because, um, obviously, like, with Poison, you already kind of, like, wall out Fluttermane's, um, uh, what's it called? Moonblast, right? So it's kind of forced to, like, Shadow Ball you as well. Uh, which is kind of cool there and then like you could always run this like if you pair it on like a tailwind team you run like 85 um and then just yeah from there it, it's kind of like whatever um i personally think this one could be really cool with rocky helmet uh because like again you look at like a lot of the meta like because it's like it's physical bulk so good it resists grassy glides 
It um, resists like dark moves from Qian Pao. You can pretty comfortably, like with max HP, eat attacks from Qian Pao as well. Um, especially with neutralizing gas turning it off. Like it's gonna be like really, really good into Qian Pao. Like I, I'd actually, I feel like I didn't touch enough on like how good neutralizing gas will be. Um, obviously it's great for turning off Truant, but like it's great for like, if you lead it, you stop, you know, Rillaboom's um, terrain from going up. You know, you turn off the Beads of Ruin, the, um, the Swords of Ruin, the Tablets of Ruin and I'm forgetting the last one, but basically turn off all the Ruin abilities, right? Um, I don't think it turns off the Paradox abilities, which is like kind of sad, but look, it, it is what it is. Yeah, like it's, you, you can't have everything, right? Um, but yeah, I definitely think Galarian Weezing like has definitely like a lot of cool things it can do. Um, also has things for like Clear Smog as well, which is like really good for setup. Um, Dazzling Gleam's always just like a great spread move. Uh, and then yeah, like you look, this one just has like great coverage, right? Like it has Haze, um, you know, similar to Clear Smog, which is like really good, obviously, for like things like Dozo. Uh, Pain Split as well could be like really cool on it because like you kind of just want to sit there and like when your base HP stats bad, if you're going up against things with like way higher base HP than you, like you actually like are doing a lot of damage with Pain Split. So yeah, definitely a cool combo. Um, one I definitely want to try out. Now, the next guy I want to talk about here is one of my main guys, and that is Politoed. Now, look, was I, I've said it the last year, a couple of weeks. I'm a huge Politoed fan. I think Politoed is a lot better than Pelipper. Um, at least for me, it's, it's probably just like a design thing. I just love the design of Politoed. I think there's a lot of things you can do with this one. Uh, I think in terms of like its main stab, if, if Skull doesn't come back, like you kind of just want to like pump, right? Um, I also just realized I didn't actually touch on the, the, the combo here. Um, the Pokemon I want to pair with it is any of the genies. Um, I think Tornadus and Thunderous are like the two like main ones that come to my head. Um, either one of these is fine. I also think Landorus as well could be cool. Um, either one of these forms here with like Lando I um, as well, I think could be like really sick. Um, but basically for the, for the purpose of this, I'll kind of leave these three because like it's not a combo, but it's like kind of a trio. Yeah. Um, but basically, I guess the main reason I think Politoed is better than Pelipper, especially when pairing with the genies is they don't share that flying type, right? So I think a big issue you had in the past was like, you know, if you wanted to lead Rain plus a Genie and they just lead something with like Rock Slide, it's like, well, shit, you can only like Terror one of them, right? Where at least with Politoed, it, it's, you know, Bulk in general is just better, right? It's got more HP, it's got more Spadef. Um, its defensive stat is lower, but like its HP stat kind of makes up for it. Um, and it's also a bit faster too naturally, right? So I think Politoed can do a lot of cool things, um, especially when you're like pairing it with these, you know, these like, um, like Tailwind teams, right? Where like, because Torn, like, let's be honest, right? Torn's going for like Tailwind on these things, yeah? Um, it's also got like Hurricane and it's going to go for Bleak Wind. Like, you know, between Torn's like really good stab moves and then just like something like Protect, like also like it could potentially even run like Heat Wave as well, which I think is like kind of cool. Um, I think fire coverage on like rain teams is like really underrated, if I'm being honest. Uh, definitely not heavy much though. Uh, but yeah, I think Politoed has a lot of things it could offer teams like this. It has things like Icy Wind as well, which means like you don't necessarily have to go for the Tailwind turn one. Like, say, for example, like, you lead these two into, like, a core that is, like, also a Tailwind team, and, like, they feel pressured to click their Tailwind, and you can just go, like, Icy Wind plus, Hur uh, like, uh, Hurricane or Bleak Wind, whatever it is you want to do, and then you have, like, you know, like, Protect here, for example, right? Like, so say, like, you know, your opponent sets up Tailwind turn one, you go, like, Icy plus Bleak Wind, turn two, you just go, like, Protect plus Icy, and then all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, they got the Tailwind up, but they're minus two, you now get your own, like, Tailwind up, and then all of a sudden, your Polito is, like, the fastest thing on the board. Um, a lot of cool things though, man. Like I think Encore as well on like these Tailwind teams is sick as well. Cause like what a lot of people are going to try to do to you eventually is they're going to try to like stall out your Tailwind, right? They're going to like protect, attack, protect type thing. But if you can like lock them into just like spamming their protect so they can't like potentially snipe your, you know, your, your tornado just to turn before Tailwind ends, it can be really, really fun, right? Like a lot of things, um, Destiny, not Destiny Bond, uh, what is it? Parasong. Parasong as well is like, I think a really good option on teams like this because normally what you want to try to do is like, you want to just like put on a lot of pressure and basically win the game in four turns, right? So the idea behind it is like, you just, you set up the rain, you try to set up your Tailwind and you just take as many like KOs as you can before the Tailwind ends. And I think against like a lot of the, you know, more balanced teams where like, they're like, hey, we'll give you a KO, but we're going to position ourselves into a, like a place where like once that Tailwind ends, your game's done, right? And if you can take that, you know, one or two quick KOs and then just say like, bang, perish. It's like, all right, now we can play defensive. We don't have to be offensive anymore. We got our, you know, our quick KO. And then all of a sudden now it's just like, hey, slow down the pace. We're going to perish up. We're going to, you know, protect, you know, make some swaps. Um, and yeah, basically just like close the game out from there. So I think Politoed, it just adds a lot of dimensions to Rain that I think is going to be really cool. Um, and I think it's just, again, I think the genies are going to be sick. Like this one here, like, um, not Bleak Wind. Uh, what is it? It gets Wild Bolt Storm, I think. Yeah, like Wild Bolt Storm. Um, I don't actually think it gets any flying coverage, right? Like I don't actually think. Yeah, ac Acrobatics is its answer, right? Um, yeah. But like this one with like Terra Flying could also be kind of cool. Um, I think Volt Switch as well is like really sick, right? So like 
uh, looking at its stats, uh, I think you want to run, like, either Scarf or Specs, like, to me, seems, like, really good, right? At 101, you kind of, like, just outspeed a lot of things. Um, like, you know, you'll outspeed, for example, if you go Scarf, you'll always outspeed the Urshis, um, which I think is also, like, really important, right? Like, say, for example, your opponent has the Urshifu. Um, it just allows you to just to, like, say, like, hey, we're not going to lead the Toad. We're going to lead the Tornadoes, get up the Tailwind, Vault Switch out, and then get our Toad in and just, like, start clicking buttons from there. Um, so yeah, a lot of cool things you can do there as well. This one's like, it's so quick that like, again, you, you could go Scar, you could go um, Specs as well. Cause like, dude, like you look at this stat here, like that's, that's nutty. That's like non-modest 197 is like, wow, man, that's, dude, it's, it's a lot of damage, yeah. Uh, and then if we just check out the other special moves, I think it does get a couple cool ones, right? Um, Am I wrong? I might be wrong. I think Terra Blast could be kind of cool on it. Uh, if Weather Ball comes back as well, Weather Ball in rain would be like really nice. Um, Cause you could go like Weather Ball, have that like that water move. Um, and then just like tech on whatever, like Terra Flying or something. So yeah, I think there's a lot of things that Politoed is going to enable in Rain now. And I definitely think because of that, Rain is going to be the best weather in uh, in Reg E. Now, look, I've just realized I'm taking up a lot of time on these. So I do want to kind of like try to speed the process up a little bit here. Next one I want to touch on here is Milotic plus Rillaboom. Now, I think this is cool for a couple of reasons. So Rillaboom, obviously everyone's kind of scared right now. This one's going to be like the best one in the format, right? Um, between Grassy Surge and Grassy Glide, this one is just going to like... It really puts a lot of the top mons into check, right? Things like, you know, Fluttermain and Rillaboom, basically. Sorry, not Rillaboom. Um, Urshifu are the two main mods, right? Really, really good at checking them. Um, the Miracle Seed set's cool. I think Assault Vest is still going to be cool. Bandit's going to be cool. Um, its attack stat's, like, so high that, like, if you were to run something like this, you know, people are going to do this. They're going to pair it up with, like, Chien Pao, so just do a lot of damage, right? And basically, I my the way I see people beating this are going to be things with just Intimidate, right? You're going to see the Arcanines, you know, pick up in usage again. Basically, like, your main goal is going to be like, hey, Rillaboom just, we need to lower its damage, right? We need to play a slow game, get a couple Intimidates while we chip it. Um, and because of that, I think Milotic with Competitive is going to be a really, really good, like, ally to have with it, right? Um, not to mention Grass and Water just, like, they, they, you know, they go really well together, right? Water types are only weak to Grass and Electric. Grass resists both of them. So that's really freaking cool. Um, there's a couple cool items as well you can go with this. Uh, like, Adrenaline Orb, I think, is, like, a pretty cool one. Uh, basically, if you get intimidated, um, you get uh, a speed boost, right? So that's really cool. Um, and then there's just like, a lot of other things. Right? You can go lefties for, you know, long term. Um, if you want to play like more offensive as well, there are things like life orb as well. It could be like half decent, I think. Um, you could always go with like wide lens if you really want. Uh, but basically, you know, I think the main sets you're going to look at here are going to be coil, uh, hypno and muddy water. Right? I think something like this, muddy water. Um, and then from there, it's like, do you want like, uh, like if you're not running leftovers, maybe you want something like recover. Um, if you are running leftovers, you could also just look for a coverage move like Ice Beam, Icy Wind, like one of these two main, like your main coverages there. You don't necessarily need them, but they do obviously help out with hitting things like Rillaboom. Um, so I do think that could be pretty good. But basically, this mon's job is going to be like, hey, you know, maybe you run something like this. Uh, I run, I like running just like 107. So somewhere between like 107 and 110 is like always good. Just go like max HP. You put like one point there. Uh, and then you just dump the rest in defense and then basically just get up a coil. Um, and then once you got the coil up, if you ever get like the competitive boost off, you just start hitting so hard, um, you know, with wide lens as well, like plus a, um, a like the, uh, accuracy raise here, like it, it's, it's a really freaking cool combo. I think Milo is definitely like, I don't want to say it's being slept on. Cause like the power creep is like pretty high right now, at least going into regulation E, but I could definitely see a world in where like Milo is just like a really good, like deterrent for, um, teams that want to run, uh, intimidate or like that want to force like intimidate into you. Like again, if you go something like Chien Power plus, um, Plus our friend Rillaboom there. Like, this is a core. Like, you want to intimidate this core. And Milo can kind of just, like, sit there with competitive and say, I dare you. Because if, if Milo gets up the coil, um, and then, like, you don't, like, take it out, and then all of a sudden it's firing off, like, plus two muddy waters that don't miss, game becomes incredibly hard. So the next core I want to touch on here is uh, a little fun one. So Dusclops is a Pokemon I think is, like, really good. It's going to be, like, probably the best Trick Room setter um, coming back. And I think pairing with Iron Hands could be actually, like, really, really cool. Um, and there's a couple reasons for it, right? So... Dusclops obviously being one of the best Trick Room setters in the game. Um, it's immune to Fake Out and with Terra Dark, um, it's immune to Prankster Taunt, which I think, you know, has a lot of potential. Pressure is really nice for like, you know, teams that kind of want to like stall you out and whatnot. Um, and then things just like, you go like Trick Room, you have uh, Pain Split, you have really reliable damage in, is it Nightshade? Yeah, Nightshade. Uh, and then from there, it's like, whatever, right? You've got things like Willow. Um, but the main reason I want to like talk about this combo in particular is Bulldoze, right? So you go like a Violite, um, Spread on this is like, again, it's meta dependent. You're going max HP and then you just go into like whatever bulk numbers you want to hit, right? If you're really scared of Flutter main, maybe you just go something like this. Uh, you just go like plus, minus, zero, bang, sassy. That's the spread there, yeah? But I think it could be really cool with Iron Hands because like Iron Hands, like it hits so freaking hard, right? Um, 
But like you kind of want to go like max per death, yeah. So I could see a world where like you go something like this, maybe. Um, let we're gonna go brave, but maybe we go like 76 brave. And then we just like uh you basically just like pump the rest. I think there was like a calc where people were going to like 68 or I feel like there was some calc like this some people were running. I don't know what off the top of my head. Um, but maybe it's like even just do like that. Yeah, something like that could be cool. Um, and then basically the gist of this is you run like weakness policy on this. Um, and then you say like, hey, this is my fake out mon. This is the mon I'm using to like hit your taunt user. Um, and then between just like drain punch, uh, thunder punch, cool, thunder punch, and then like protect. This mon like pumps out damage, right? Like you look at this attack stat. If you get the weakness policy prop on this, like dude, it's over. Like it, it's over. Um, and then not to mention like bulldoze is just like nice, right? It's like it's good. It does like low damage. Uh, maybe because of that you run like you're like here you, what is that here yeah 49 like could you afford to like go could I, could I afford this yeah i mean technically you could afford that right so yeah like i think that's a really cool combo it does a lot of damage um it also has like a lot of synergy right just because you know iron hands is there it, it's able to get the fake out out um and dust globs is like just a, such a free trick room so yeah definitely a cool combo all right so carrying on there from our trick room combos i have another you know kind of cool one um you definitely need like a third mon on this team um and the mon is like probably just uh Chryselka, but it's the vicar vault plus uh ursa luna combo now um everyone kind of knows what this combo does right or like at least these mons in particular so you're going like facade you're going earthquake that's not earthquake uh, earthquake uh you're going protect and then you're probably just going like swords dance or something right uh, and then you're just going to go like max, max, right? Yeah. Like ev everyone freaking knows what this mod wants to do. I'm not even going to change the levels there. But basically pairing it up with Vicar Vault is really cool. Because Vicar Vault is another incredibly slow Pokemon here at 43 base speed. Um, and you basically run it like the exact same way, right? So you're just going to like quiet. Um, obviously zero speed. And then you're kind of just going to like max, max here. Right? Go max, max, pump it into the spit F. Um, and then you slap like a life orb or a choice specs on this mod. And then you go like Terra Electric. And between Terra Electric um, and Levitate, you have no weaknesses. And then you just like click dis uh, discharge uh, next to the earthquake. So your Vicar Vault can't be hit by the earthquake. Your Ursa Luna can't be hit by the discharge. And it's basically just like an incredibly oppressive like Disquake spam combo that could be really good. Um, not to mention like Bug Buzz is like pretty decent here. Uh, and then you just say like, I don't know, maybe you just got like Thunderbolt. Um, if you're Life Orb and then you just get Protect. Um, that's meant to be Thunderbolt. But yeah. yeah, I think this is definitely a cool combo. It's definitely going to be one of the early teams that I, uh, I use in regulation as well. So look out for that. So the next one here I want to look at is Como-O plus Indeedee. Now, I think Como-O has a lot of potential in the upcoming format, right? Basically, like this mon with like, is it Clangor Assault? What is Clang Clangor Assault? Yeah. So this one basically getting an Omni boost and then having something like Indeedee next to it. Could be really cool, right? So this mon's like, it's kind of there just to basically set up and sweep, right? Um, it also has uh, Overcoat as well, which makes it really good into Moongus. Um, and then from here, you can go things like lefties and wh whatever it is, right? So you have Clanger Resolver is pretty good. Um, you also have Iron Defense Body Press. So having a stab Iron Defense Body Press as well, I think is pretty cool. Um, and then if we just have a look at its special moves here, because I think special, I think its special set is the better set if you're going for the Clanger Assault uh, because of Clanger Scales, right? It's basically like a really good um, stab move that has like no, it has a drawback, but it hits really freaking hard. Um, it can run things like Draco. Uh, Terra Fire, I think as well, like on a Clanger Assault set can be really cool. Um, because you could just run something like, uh, let's just say like flamethrower here, uh, protect here, and then clang, clang your scale. Yeah, so that could be like really cool with terrifier as well. Uh, fire, and then you pair it up with like Indeedee, and Indeedee's like cool for a couple of reasons, right? So I think Indeedee's just like a great Rocky Helmet user. Um, obviously I think Rocky Helmet's like still gonna be really good. Psychic Terrain's gonna be massive for countering Rillaboom. Um, and then you can go for things like follow me, uh, potentially like Dazzling, Gleam, or Psychic, whatever it is you want. But Heal Pulse is basically um, the main reason I'm kind of like touching on this. Because I could see a world in where like your opponent maybe like leads something passive. And you just go straight for the uh, the Clangor Assault into the, the Heal Pulse. And then all of a sudden like you full HP, you start spamming out follow me's. And yeah, I think this combo has a lot of potential. Um, and as I also said too, I think the, the Iron Defense Body Press set on Como as well could be really cool. Uh, basically, this one just like needs to like... Get away from its fairy weakness i think it could be really freaking cool so finally i guess that the last weather core i want to talk about here is a little blood of main combo paired up with nine tails now obviously a lot of people say like nine tails is not as good as uh Torkoal, right which i get it i do think Torkoal is probably a better pokemon but i definitely think nine tails paired up with the paradox mons could be really really interesting and it's for a couple of reasons right but the main one really to me is its speed stat so if you have a look at its speed stat here base 100 is really good 
for quite a few reasons, right? And the main one is like, if you look at Fluttermane's uh, biggest weaknesses in the format, right? You're talking about things like Rillaboom with Grassy Glide. You're talking about Urshifu with Choice Scarf. You're talking about Chien Pao. There's basically just a lot of these mods that are really fast and can hit your Fluttermane really hard. And really, uh, and Iron Hands is also another one as well, actually. But the biggest issue Torkoal has is like, it goes up the sun, right? Which means like, hey, the Surging Strikes aren't doing as much damage. Um, it can eat the Grassy Glides pretty well, obviously. But it's just slow, right? And especially in an open sheet format where I do think Scarf Shifu might drop down a bit. Having a Scar a, a very fast Willow Whiff, I think could be really, really clutch, right? So having like Timid Max Speed, um, unfortunately it does like fall short of the like the adamant um Chen Powers, which does kind of suck. Um, but I definitely think pairing this up with like uh, potentially like Pixie Play, um, Choice Specs as well if you wanted, something like that. Um, you go just like the normal stab, you go like Dazzling Gleam, uh, the Shadow Ball, um, and then just like Protect. Um, I could also see a world where you like drop Moonblast for Energy Ball and go like Terra Grass. Um, but I I personally do think Terra Fairy might be the best call simply because I think Floodmane will have a lot of mods that can actually take it out. So something like just going Terra Fairy with like Pixie Plate or Specs paired up with just like an Intimidate user I think could be really good. Um, but look, everyone knows what Fluttermane does. I'm not going to touch too much on that. It's more or less like about nine tails here I want to talk about. Um, but yeah, I definitely think a fast Willow Wisp is really cool. Um, it also has things like, it has Overheat as well if you want to pair this with like a Jack Pack, which is like pretty similar to how um, Falkor wants to play, right? That's a bit of a Jack button. A Jack Pack. So like if, if they intimidate you, like it forces the switch out. Um, it also means Overheat will like switch you out as well, um, which I think could also be like really, really clutch in certain situations. It gets Heat Wave, which is like obviously in the sun, very powerful. Um, and you know things like protect um i also think like hex as well could be like really cool on a willow wisp set um especially like to catch things that are like terroring out of like a uh, a weakness to fire um but yeah really cool uh do you get taunt i don't think so right yeah no taunt do you get like encore i'm sure you would yeah encore is cool as well so like there could even be a world where you run this thing like terror grass encore and then just like you know play with like a moongus's um but yeah i also think like focus sash as well could be like really good on this you could go like focus sash max speed um and then we'll just i don't know we'll just say heat wave here for now right let's go like heat wave and we'll go like Something like that could be really cool. Uh, but yeah, basically, I think Ninetales' like, biggest buff will be the fact that I just think it pairs nicely with Paradox Monk, right? Um, obviously, it's a mod that doesn't care about Intimidate, but I guess Torkoal doesn't either. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a fast Willow Wisp user. You can burn the Urshis before they get their stuff off. Um, you know, you can hit the, you can hit the Amoongus's really hard before they move as well. Like, that's another big thing is, like, Amoongus is, like, faster than Torkoal. So, like, Torkoal, like, is, can't just, like, overheat it, just, like, scare it, right? You can't force it into a Terra early because it's, like, you know, the Amoongus is, I'm just going to sleep you. Like, I don't care. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty cool there. And then finally, guys, to round things out, we're going to actually finish with another Sun Gore here. Uh, but we're talking about Torkoal. So I'll talk about it again. It's Torkoal plus Trevenant. Now, this one's really cool for a couple of reasons. So Trevenant's a ghost type, meaning uh, it's obviously immune to fake out, but it also has Harvest, right? So basically in Sun, it will always get its berry back. So I can see a world in where like Citrus Berry plus Harvest paired up with, I think it gets Horn Leech, right? Yeah. Pair up with like Horn Leech makes this mod like incredibly, incredibly hard to deal with. Gets cursed. Do you get bulk up? You don't get bulk up. Um, I wonder, does it I actually don't know off the top of my head, does it get any like setup moves? Gets home claws, which is kind of interesting. Pain split as well is like really good on it. Uh and yeah, like below death. Yeah. I, I actually thought like maybe it could get like a um like SD or something, but like, you know, like getting up a like a plus one attack. Um basically like you wanna you wanna go like something like this as well, right? Like that's really cool. Um it also has like access to Lewis but not whatnot. So I do think Tre uh, Trevenant with like, you know, like Max Attack Brave um, could be like a really interesting setup, especially paired up with Torkoal, um, just because it does benefit, right? Like basically your opponent, like they have to commit to killing you because if they don't, all of a sudden you're going to get like Citrus Berry, you're going to get it back, potentially eat it again, especially if you pair this with like Protect or something. Uh, but yeah, I definitely think Trevenant in like a, a Sunroom team could be like a really cool Trip Room setup. Um, I don't necessarily think it's going to be like the best, but I could definitely see a world where you slap it on just because... Trevenant's like also like really good paired up with Torkoal just for the resistances, right? Torkoal doesn't want to eat, you know, ground moves and it doesn't want to eat uh, water moves with Trevenant, you know, it, it eats them both pretty comfortably. Uh, not to mention, you know, Trevenant's HP stats not bad and its defenses are okay, right? Um, Obviously, because you're a Trick Room one as well, like you don't even have to... Oh, let's just quickly like spread this. How would you do this, right? Um, Yeah, you probably just go like here. Here. And then, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's probably all you're really doing, right? You're just going like Brave Nature, something like that, yeah. So it can be kind of bulky. Um, if you want to like, you know, I, actually, I think that is optimized for citrus, right? Multiple of four. Yeah, yeah, that, that is a um, that, that is optimized for citrus. Yeah, could, you know, go something like that, potentially look to get up like a, a home cause or something, and then actually just start like dealing a lot of damage with your horn leeches. Uh, but yeah, definitely an interesting like combo um, to pair up with Torkoal in the trick room. 
Uh, and I'm, look, everyone knows what Torkoal spreads are. I'm not even going to waste my time with it. But uh, yeah, guys, that's uh, that's 10 combos I think are going to be really good in Regulation E. Let me know what you're down below. Uh, let me know what you're down below. Let me know what you think of them down below. Um, personally, I, you know, I said I'm a huge fan of the Politoed plus Genies. I think it's going to be really cool. I'm really excited for Clef plus Moon. I do think Clef really, really enables like Dragon Dance Moon, which I think is sick. Uh, Lunar Vault as well is going to be like awesome. Um, Milo plus Rilla is another core I'm like super excited for. So yeah, a lot of these combos I think are going to be really cool. Mamo Nine Tails as well, paired up with like a Tornadus HO team. I think it will also be pretty sick. Um, but yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.